Oh hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope I find you well wherever you are. So today in this hopefully short video I'm going to try and show you how to install, set up and configure the flat pack version of the Mango Hut. Let's go! Okay, I would strongly recommend you first go to the GitHub page of the project Mango Hut. This is the flightless mango. I will make sure I leave the page in the description of this video, so don't worry about that. So this explains really well what the project is all about. If you are curious, again, I would strongly recommend you to visit the GitHub page. So basically this is a Vulkan and OpenGL overlay for monitoring FPS, temperatures, CPU and GPU load and more. I really like this tool. This is one if not the best tool for monitoring your FPS and let's say temperatures of your CPU and GPU. And for a while now I was trying to figure it out how to install and set up fat packs because recently, especially recently, I started using a lot more flat packs than before. Well, especially now when I'm using the Bazite currently. And you know, Bazite likes flat packs. So, anyway, if you go down the page, you have some pretty well explanation how to install this package, even directly from GitHub. Down here you have how to install the package depending of your distribution. Let's say you are on Debian or Ubuntu, Fedora, Solus, OpenSUSE and so on. But this is what we are going to do today. This is the Flatpak version. Basically it should be pretty simple. I have already done that. That's why I wanted to show you because I couldn't really find a good explanation in the internet how to install it and how to set it up. For this you need to open a terminal, copy this command, paste it. Okay, so it gives you the option to choose what version of the flat pack for Mango Hut. Usually I'm using the latest version, which currently it's 24.08. So we choose one and click Y for install. It's pretty quick as you can see. Now this part is very important. This is to enable Mango Hut for all Steam games. Again, copy it and paste it on your terminal. That's it. That's all you need for now. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Okay, so now we got to the little bit more tricky part, but don't worry, I will try to explain you. So now, after you have installed the Mango Hut, you need to configure it. How this works, there is a configuration file where you can find this configuration file. Go to your system file system manager, navigate to the user folder, go to the share, you look for the doc and now you should have a mango hut right here. You have a few files here, this is the one that you need, just right click and copy it. What you need to do now is go back to the home page, press Ctrl H on your keyboard and now you see all the configuration files and all the hidden files. You need the .config, open it and you need to create a new folder. How you do that? Of course, right click, create new folder. What's the name of the new folder? Of course, that would be Mango Hut. And this is pretty important, the, the M for Mango it's capital and the H in A and Hut it's capital as well. 
this is pretty important i have done that mistake before and the system couldn't find the configuration file so be careful here click ok open it and paste the file that we have just copied now we need to change the name we don't need the example anymore and yours should look something like that mangohut.conf all right we're halfway there now okay if for some reason you cannot find where your example file is back in the user share doc folder you can go back to the github page right here navigate to the hood navigate to the hood configuration this is again where you should find it but if still can find it there is a copy here just open it and this is the file that you need all you have to do now is just control a to select everything control c to copy it go back to the dot config mango hut folder create new text file name it mango hut dot open it select with what we need to open this file let's use gate and just paste it save it and that's it that's all you need to do okay so now how do you configure it to see all the cool stuff open this configuration file i would use again kate you can use whatever text editor you like now don't let this huge file to intimidate you it's not that bad it's not that hard so let's see from the beginning for example i want to start with the default settings of mango hut and go from there how you show the default okay so basically you just delete the pound sign in front of the line and see how the color of the line changed so this should be active right now save it but usually what i want to use we have to come back here this is the GPU stats. So now select what you like to see. For example, I want to see the GPU temperature, GPU core clock. I want to see the power. I want to see the GPU fan voltage, of course. Now let's go to the CPU stats. Again, I want to see the temperature. I want to see the power. I want to see what megahertz it's running currently. Now this is one of the fun stuff. You can name your CPU. For example, I want to name mine. Well, mine is i9-14. 900 AF so every time you launch a game and you launch the mango hut this is going to show for the name of your CPU you can do the same for the GPU as well right here mine is RTX 4070 Ti super Okay, we are pretty close. I want to see the VRAM and the RAM. I think this should do it for now. Save the file. And you can close it now. You don't need to see the hidden files anymore. So let's test it. Okay, you may ask 
how you can make a certain game run with the Mango Hut right now. So I will show you. Take for example the Elder Scrolls Online. Select the game, right click, go to properties. And now in general tab you have a launch options. Here you just have to write down Mango Hut percentage command and that's it now every time when we start this game it should work for all the launch options we gave him for example mango hut and it will launch it let's test it and as you can see even when the game is loading, we already have a nice setup of Mango Hut. Now we see all the needed informations. Well, the one we have selected, of course. If you want to do something different, you already know how to navigate to the configuration file and how to change it the way you like it. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to show you for today. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know if you find this video helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!